Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching The Flash Season 7 Episode 13. This one's titled Masquerade. So you know what, let's just jump right into this episode and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this reaction. If you do, please hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe to my channel. So yeah, let's just watch this. Here we go. Hmm. Recover ward. Wait, has she been completely taken over by the person that we saw last episode? You know, the one with the mask. Oh, masquerade. That's what it meant. <laughs> yeah, because last episode, the tease, she went home, she heard something, she looked at the mirror, and her reflection have a mask. So is that her alter ego? Now she's completely taken over? The real is still locked in here. Oh, this is not good. Don't worry, Cecile, we're gonna help you. The team's gonna help you. Woo! Frank, was I supposed to ask before I changed everything? <laughs> no, this is your workplace. Yes, and Frost is gonna love that. It's just, I've never seen this room without all of Cisco's stuff in it. Which I totally understand. I'll tell you what, it ain't no thing. I can take all of my junk back to my garage. No, no, no. Down, Chester, okay? I just it's fine. That that's not necessarily a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And look, Star Labs is your lab, and we want you to feel at home here, too. Hey, Chester. <laughs> hey, man. How you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, what are you, what are you doing down <gasps> Oh! Hey! No! Oh. Wait, if, if you're down here and he's down here, then they're doing something. Oh my god. We were just Oh boy. Um I have uh that call. I don't know, I feel numb all of a sudden. Hmm. What's the matter, Barry? Getting out. Can't see. Cecile, what are you doing to me? Getting you out of the way. I have a plan, Barry Allen, and you need to be gone for it to work. Oh, one more thing. Ugh, I'm not Cecile. Your mind belongs to me now. Your so just let you. Your mind belongs to me now. Okay, so this is not Cecile. This is not Cecile's alter ego. This is someone else. This seems familiar though. Is this another villain that we've seen before? That's making a comeback, but you know, totally different person. Another 2.0, just like last episode's Rainbow Raider 2.0. I don't know. It is. Oh, at least, at least Cecile has someone to talk to in there, right? It's, it's driving her crazy, being alone in that white room. Well, at least Barry's with her now. They need to figure it out. They need to figure out how to get out of here. I can see something now. I can see something. It's, um, it's like a light in the middle of all of that darkness. It's just shining, glowing gold, mm -hmm. like a golden mask. Sweet Ira Cooper. Folks, I think I know who did this. This? Psycho Pirate. Hmm? Psycho. Wait. She wants that mask. She wants that mask. The last thing I remember, I was, uh, I was at home with Joe, and there was a storm. Oh! <gasps> oh my god, she's been here the entire time? I thought it was just recent. Oh, that's Sykes doing, right? Oh, I think the mask are able to tap on the Sykes 
force and when it hit Cecile you know it it touched her and the and the mask be able to control her to feed on and then I woke up. oh oh that was so long ago I mean two weeks ago how long till we get our hands on that mask okay so heists aren't really my expertise but Cisco did leave me a number to call in case of an emergency. It's a good thing, too. Because this one sounds like a doozy. She's back! Sue Dearborn. Okay, what happened? Where's Ralph? Is there anything about this whole situation that seems kind of, I don't know, odd to you? I mean, we ID'd our target an hour ago and have done zero recon. Heist 101. You think it's almost too easy? Mm hmm. Okay, look, ever since I got here, I've been training my butt off for craziness exactly like this. It's too easy. Because Cecile wanted it to happen. They're just delivering the mask to the villain. I think we should try another floor. No, uh, it's a one story building. I think that we should just double back. How did you know it's a one story building? I think Cecile has have been here before. <laughs> oh shit. Mary, we gotta go. Mary, let's go. Hey. Cecile know this one. It's her. I can help you. What? <laughs> oh. Sue, that's not Cecile. You need to get out of there now. Oh boy. A mortal weapon against the likes of me. Okay. It's gonna suck. It is gonna suck. Let our friends go or we'll make you such hubris. And from the boy who delivered everything I needed. How amusing. Now my host shall serve me. Oh. Eternity. The boy who delivered everything to me. Chester's gonna blame himself. Come up. We're at St. Carmine's Psychiatric Hospital just outside of Houston, Texas. Oh. Where I was a patient. Oh, wow. We didn't know that. Myself. And I just spiraled into anxiety and depression. And I had a breakdown and I ended up in here. Most days I'd just wander those halls. And I'd spend all night lying awake, staring at that ceiling, thinking about my mom. She would need something to amplify her mental abilities to create a permanent food source. Okay, so where do we find a device like that? In our basement. Mmm. Oh, the Vos chair! Whoa! Oh! Who dares avoid my gaze? Wow! I do. Team Flash. Yeah. Destroy the chair. Oh! She created a shield. Oh. Come on, Cecile. You can do it. Fight back. Confront it. Confront this fear. Oh. 
Oh my god, this is crazy good. Yeah. There you go. Oh. I know exactly who I am and I am done wearing a mask. Yes. Yes. Whoa. Oh, that's so good. That is a nice shot. Let's go. Nice. Very. Woo. No, don't shoot. Don't shoot. It's me. It's me. It's me. <laughs> oh, what a great episode. I mean... Cecile's performance this episode is just insane. I love it. You are a full fledged member of Team Flash now. Mm -hmm. Your voice will always matter here. Yes. Um, make sure you use it. Make sure you use it. Okay. With that being said, there is a just this tiny thing that I wanted to talk to you both about. <laughs> yeah, <what's up? sighs> Take a day off. Maybe of course. Go on vacation. Totally. We hear you. <laughs> yeah. You're part of this team now. that Kristen Kramer wants this part of her past to stay buried. Kramer's last army mission? She was in command of a squad sent in to take out several strategic facilities. She never completed the mission. She led them into an ambush. Oh, my God. I think Kristen Kramer was working with the enemy. Mm. Wait, is this the ambush? She told Frost about trusting... Um, I met a human, but then the um, then her team ends up getting killed. Is this it? Maybe it's different thing, or maybe she lied to Frost. That's it. That's it. Okay, I actually really enjoyed this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it too. If you do, please hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe to my channel for reactions every week. I think I'm not gonna talk more about this episode because it's really late right now. And yeah, I'm just gonna end it right away and hope you guys understand. But I still hope you guys, you know, enjoy watching this episode with me. So yeah, I'm just really, real thankful for all of your support. Please and please subscribe to my channel for reactions every week. Full version is in the Patreon. Um, links of that is in the description below. And again, I'm just real thankful for all of your support. And see you next week for Under Flash Reaction. Goodbye. Want to watch more reaction videos? Please click here to subscribe.